Hello, everybody, and welcome to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with your hosts, Mayor Gail Catcher and Curtis Dominic. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to the. I like that. Welcome to the all new episode of Exploring Fort Saskatchewan. Our mayor is back. I am. I am very excited. Uh, last week, uh, Curtis, you had an extra special uh, edition. Yes. Uh, I was down in Ottawa on uh, business for the city and for the Alberta's Industrial Heartland, and uh, it was exceptional. Attended over 13 meetings to get out and talk about the city of Fort Saskatchewan, the Alberta's industrial heartland, and it was amazing. 13 meetings in three days. We walked and walked and walked, and uh, it was good to get back home. But you know what I loved the most? They held a reception for us in Gatineau at the uh, Museum of Natural History. It was fantastic. I loved it. As I was walking through it, you know, I uh, I saw this one this one photograph or this one this one picture, and it had this amazing quote beside it, and it was from Lauren S. Harris, and it said, "Art must grow and flowers in the land before the country will be a real home for its people." And you know, Curtis, I started thinking about that, and you know, Beautiful. we have some wonderful uh, artwork in our community, yeah. and uh, I was thinking about it. You know, in in each of our homes. I think we all take a lot of pride that, you know, we get to hang up a picture, we get a statue or a little vase or something, or we put flowers in our home to make it feel warm and inviting. And that's what artwork is to me in the city of Fort Saskatchewan. So, guess what? What? We're going to talk about artwork today. (laughs) Oh, oh, that's right. There's some new unveilings coming soon. There is. So for anybody, if you've been driving by the corner of 99th Avenue and 101st Street, you'll see there's something tarped there. So this Thursday, the same day that the farmer's market is going to be kicking off their season, the city of Fort Saskatchewan is going to have the official statue unveiling. Now this statue was paid for by the federal government and it is going to be our 150th anniversary uh, 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 piece. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a reminder of the 150th birthday of Canada. Yes, yes. So every community is doing something to celebrate Canada's 150th birthday. We said, what can we do for the money that we're getting? And we said, what a perfect feature than to have an entry piece into our historic precinct and into our park. And I tell you, it's going to be awesome. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I didn't know it was this Thursday. What time should everybody be there for? Uh, The actual unveiling is going to be at 4 o'clock, and it's going to be right in front of the CN station. And then immediately from there, we're going in to do a citizen's citizenship ceremony la 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 <laughs> and then uh off to do the farmer's market so go get all our fresh vegetables and that yes it was a very late night last night we uh we went to the uh 2017-18 performance series at the shell theater another one to part of our arts and culture but anyway i kind of wanted to talk a little bit about you know we've got the new unveiling but you know, just do a little bit about our art, art that we have in Absolutely. Fort Saskatchewan. We have some amazing so. art. Um, now, I guess as everybody can tell, I always get spooked by her when I uh, drive on 102nd Street here. Um, we have all of our sheep. Yes. Like, uh, uh, oh, do we want to call it... Uh, um, it's not a memory of the sheep, but it would be... What, what would you well, call it's it? to Just celebrate our celebrate. sheep. Celebrate. Yeah, okay, that would be good. To celebrate our sheep. And she's always there. I could probably point to her right now. She's there, but I swear, in the wintertime when I drive by and she's got that there's some snow on her... It always scares me for some, because you can just see it out of the corner of your eye, and you look, and you're like, oh, it's a sheep. Oh, it's Olive. Oh, okay. And you know what's so cool about uh, where Olive is, uh, and that's, and her, she got her name because it's all of the sheep. So Olive. So, you know, we have a little bit of fun with that, too. <laughs> but I think the staff from Twice But Nice, they always go over and they take, uh, they put a scarf on her, they put a hat on her, and you know what, they just take ownership. So that is really a wonderful one. We've got the Alberta Lottery Fund Art Gallery that, that every month there's a new exhibit on at the Dow Centennial Center. 
Uh, I was out there last night, and uh, and there's wildlife uh, artwork that's there. It's just beautiful. Wow. Yeah. And so, you know what? We try and promote our local artists. Uh, over on 100th Avenue and 102nd Street, yes, as we both look out the window. Yep. We call that Fort on the Saskatchewan. And really what that one is, is it talks, or it's, it's got murals, and it talks about our history from the fort, from the Northwest Mounted Police all the way up to having the sheep in Legacy Park. And it's really, really cool. It highlights the development of the establishments of Fort Saskatchewan. And then, of course, Inspector Jarvis. Yeah, now he's standing over on the site of the 1875 Northwest Mounted Police Force. Wow, if you say that really fast, that does really tongue twist you. <laughs> At the Fort Heritage Precinct, uh, it's a life-size bronze statue of the commanding officer, uh, Inspector Jarvis. Now, there's something, my, my father was telling me about this, that if the hooves are placed a certain way, it means something, that he died in battle or that he was victorious in battle or something. Do you know about that? Or Yeah, I know about that. I'm just not exactly sure which hoof movement yeah. it means for each one, but I think having that the, the way the hoof, hoof is up, that it means he's leading the way. And behind him originally was supposed to be where the historic uh, center was built, and it was supposed to be as you walked out of there he would lead you the way into the 1875 fort okay. perhaps one day there will be one but uh, you know what at least he's there and and he is leading everybody into the historic center and you know what we had a band that came from iceland the high school band we were there yesterday and they took a tour of the historic site they loved it they just loved it, and they're giving you two thumbs up. So they went into the the warden's house, and it was so cute because this is a band, and they have a little gift shop that I've always talked about. And and uh, the lady from the gift shop, she says, yeah, they came in, and they were buying up Fort Saskatchewan stuff. But she says, I think they all bought the little kazoos that they have. And she says they're sitting out on the steps playing these little kazoos. It was so cute, and it was so much fun to talk to these students. That's awesome, and yeah. it's a piece of our city that they're going to bring back home with them yeah it's really cool and that's what that's what we want to do is we want to get fort saskatchewan's name out there hey everybody just taking a quick moment out to stop the podcast just to thank the people that help bring this exploring fort saskatchewan to you first off we've got joel at the canadian brew house this place is amazing you can go down there just to get a ride to go to the edmonton Oilers games to have a quick bite to eat, to enjoy the brews, to enjoy the ambiance. It's a great place to take the family or just kick your shoes off at the end of a long day of work. Second, uh, I don't look this good just getting out of the bed. Okay, confession, yes I do. But in part, it's to Frankie at Frankie's Barbershop. Uh, he's amazing. You go in there and he'll give you whatever you want in the way of the newest hairstyles, beards, anything he takes such great care of care of you uh it's like you're a member of the family when you walk in shakes your hand right away sit down treats you so well go there frankie's barbershop i know everybody likes gaming board games i certainly do the best place to go to in all of the edmonton area and especially here in fort saskatchewan fort gaming and collectibles go there tell them that i sent you go see shane shane's the guy you want to go see he's got all the newest board games He's got all the newest magic, which I understand is this new crazy game that's taken over by storm. I have no clue. Go in there though, tell him I send you the board games are great. Lastly, but certainly not least, is a good friend of mine. You're going to see some podcasts coming up with him. He's the Zombie Master of Canada. I'm going to put a picture up probably right here. His work is incredible. Rob Cicchetto Zombie Portraits. He'll take any picture, including wedding photos, which are incredible, and zombify them. And I guess last but not least, I've already said last but not least, us, Dominic Digital. We are a digital media and advertising marketing company here in the fort. We do all sorts of things like social media. We'll set up a website for you. Secondly, we're actually going to market it for you and make sure that people show up. This is what we're doing. Look, look at this. It's a great podcast. Check out more podcasts on the Dominic Digital uh, family, I guess umbrella family of podcasts. And uh, 
I guess I'm done. I'm going to send you back to the podcast now with myself and the mayor. So in the park uh, located, basically, I think it's called Lions Park. It's right beside the Lions Pool uh, over on 104th Street and 100th Avenue. There's two smaller statues. There's the dog and the little tiny sheep. And we call that one the baby. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. And uh, that, that one's really cute because it's, it's the Coley, uh, the sheepdog, who's looking after the sheep. Now, this one is actually in a playground. And it's funny because the children love to come over and hug this Aww. dog. And if you go over there, you'll see that the little ears, because they hug them so much and that, it, they actually make the bronze come out. That really comes out. So it's really shiny on one part. Yeah. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, so every time the bags come into uh, into the fort, they always come and give it a touch up and that. But it's okay. We want people to touch and feel. Yeah, that's it. And I guess uh, the last one is... No. Oh, one more. Oh. oh. No. Well, we can talk no, about no, the currents. Yeah, no, no, yeah, currents. Yeah, uh, the but, currents in City Hall. Uh, oh, yes. No, yeah, when you walk in the mural. Now, that's all tile mural. Yes. And uh, that's incredible. The currents when you're coming into City Hall, it's beautiful. And you know what? This is going to sound really freaky, and I'm not making this up. I was looking at them today as I was walking in, and kind of a more detailed look, and just looking at them, and just trying to, to, to get an appreciation of what it is. And it's beautiful. You, this city is gorgeous. Like, if nobody's been to Fort Saskatchewan, get come here. Because it's, it's a city that's basically... I can't express how beautiful it is, especially now that the summertime's here and you can just see all the foliage, all the trees. It's a city carved out of a forest, basically, and there's just parks and... I don't know. I know I love I, I love it. I live here and I can say whatever I want, but I'm just I'm just telling people that this is an amazing city. Come down. You're in Edmonton? Eh, no good. Come to Fort Saskatchewan. It's what, twenty minutes away. Yep. You and, can see beauty. And what's so nice is you can pick up one of our guides at the Dow yeah. Center. You can drive around or you can walk around our beautiful downtown. Most of the artwork is located downtown. There's a few pieces outside of downtown. We have this amazing one by West River's Edge. And I was down there this weekend for Kids Can Catch, and that was pretty amazing. You should have saw the number of people down there. But it's called The Big Piece of the Puzzle. And our industrial partners uh, donate, donated this to us because they wanted to show their connection uh, of industry to the environment. And, that they're ded and the statue really is dedicated to all the skilled trade workers in our community. And it represents industrial and technology and the world being a, and the world being placed in their hands and he's holding this orb like this and there's this chain that comes down from it and it's like it just goes to the clouds and the skies and it is just awesome i every time i go down there i'm just wowed with it yeah no I even the, the picture doesn't do it justice you have to see this in person yeah and, and go uh, you can see pictures of it but this is gorgeous this is a piece of uh art that uh, is awe-inspiring. Yeah, and then of course we have uh, four pieces of artwork in City Hall. Uh, we've got the River Valley, we've got the Open Road, we've got uh, Propagate, and uh, Fabric of the Community, which is upstairs here when you come to visit the mayor or any of the people in, yeah. in City Hall. Fabric of the community, I always liked. I, the other ones are gorgeous. It's just this one, as soon as you walk off the elevator. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's vibrant. It shows you all the different uh, seasons in our beautiful city. Um, yeah, if you ever have a chance, uh, come and take well, I don't know. Should we? Yeah, and you know which one we just missed? I just realized the one, one on the building. Just kitty corner to uh, to City Hall. Oh yeah, and that's where we here. and that's where we all have our handprints on there. And when you see that one, and it was uh, sponsored by Dow Chemical, and we all came out and we put a bunch of our hand marks on on the side of the building. And it's really about showing that our community has warmth, and it's you know you grow with us, you know. So really, public art is meant to inspire. It's meant to move us, and you know what? There's so much. It can either entertain us, it can shape our attitudes. Sometimes, you know, uh, you look at it and it just makes you feel warm and, and, and full inside. And other times you look at it and you go, huh, haven't got a clue. <laughs> that's, that's it, squirrel. Like right away you just, 
and that that's okay if that happens that's okay uh, and it, and that's good you know because everybody has their own thought process about what artwork is the best artwork i love is receiving my artwork for my grandchildren Aww. and it hangs on my fridge all the time that's awesome so if you're thinking about coming out to fort saskatchewan you live in fort saskatchewan no thinking of coming out they're coming out okay so come on out there yeah you there, you there you go come that's on it. out to fort saskatchewan get out of your houses if you live here take the artwork have an appreciation for it and let us know what you would like to see in the city of fort saskatchewan come out and explore fort saskatchewan now he's going to hit me <laughs> i didn't hit it that's, that's it thanks for joining us we'll see you guys next week i didn't hit hard did i <laughs> no it almost okay. missed all right there all right there. <laughs> Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is a product of Dominic Digital.